Welcome back. I hope you're feeling excited about OfferScript. I certainly am. In this video, we're going to the next level. We're going to work with the worksheet, work with cells, change the value of the cell. We're going to get into offset and position control. That's all coming in the next 10 minutes or so. But first, let's get back into our Office script. So I'm going to go to the Automate tab and I call my script Testing Scripts. This takes me to the kind of introductory page we looked at in the first video. I'm going to go to Edit Code and that takes me back into the code. Firstly, quickly, let's talk about annotations or comments in the VBA editor. We used to use the inverted comma. That doesn't work in TypeScript or JavaScript land, which is where, where we're living now. Uh, we go for the double backslash. So we could put a comment here. This is important, of course, to explain in layperson's terms what the code is doing. But in this case, we just want to switch off. We just want to switch off these two lines of code. I'm going to use the backslash to do that. These are now comments, order, annotations, and they will be ignored. So what's our next challenge? Our next challenge is to set the value of a cell in an online spreadsheet using Office Script. So let's think about how to do that. Well, we know we have this generic um, syntax at the top. So Office Script knows which workbook it's working with and the scope to, of Office Script is the workbook. So it ain't working with any other workbook unless you combine with a tool such as Power Automate. We discussed that in other videos on the channel. So it knows the workbook it's working with. It doesn't know the sheet. It doesn't yet know the sheet that it's working with. So how to do that? Well, we're going to follow this same formulation. We're going to declare a variable and assign a macro to it in a single line. That's how it works in Office Script. So let meaningful variable name, I'm going to say target underscore sheet equals, and then we say workbook. Now we say workbook because we can see at the top here, workbook is the syntax that Office Script uses to identify itself really, to identify the workbook. So we can say workbook and it's get. Often in TypeScript, Office Script land, we use get and set. We're going to say get worksheet singular. And then we need the name of the worksheet. I've changed mine. It's not sheet one or something like that. It's testing. And this is going to tell Office Script a workbook to a worksheet rather to work with. Now, Whenever I'm working uh, in Office Scripts, I'm a bit struggling for space because I'm doing screen recording. I usually have the logs open and I can immediately see if there's any problems and there's no problems with that syntax. OK, so far, so good. So we know the workbook, we know the sheet that we're working with. Now we need to specify a cell to work with. I'm going to go for my usual explosive choice, C4. And now let's follow the formulation again. So a new variable, I'm going to say target cell equals. So now we can use the worksheet and we use the variable that we've just declared and assigned a value to. So target sheet, you can see it's suggested uh, by Office Script. They're very helpful. Target sheet dot. And now what's it going to be? It's going to be get again, get range. And we're going to put our explosive choice in there, which is C4. OK, so. We specified the sheet, we specified the range, but we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything with that cell. So now we're not going to use get, we're going to use set. And we don't need to say let this time. Why don't we need to say let? Well, we've already declared the variable. We don't need to redeclare it by using let again. We just want to manipulate that variable. We want to change one of its properties, do something with it. So I'm going to say target cell suggested. You can see the variables with the spanners, the little spanner symbol. So I'm going to say target cell dot set value this time and then you can choose what value you put in there i'm going to say hello this is a tribute by the way to our um, vba series that we shot about 10 years ago vba for beginners we do exactly this so here's our little tri tribute and we should see hello appearing in the cell there so hopefully you're getting a feel for what's going on so take the time now to do a bit of testing, what you can, what can you do? Can you put numbers in the cell? We can put numbers in the cell there. Could you, for example, could we reference a range of cells, multiple cells rather than a single cell? So what if we say C4 to F9? You could choose any range. I'm going to run the code here and I can see all of those values going in. So it's so important as with VBA, as with code, as with anything skill in life, you've got to take the time to play harness foster a positive addiction to this. Cherish those punch the air moments, get addicted to those punch the air moments. That's the way to really make progress 
with computer coding. Right. What else do we want to cover in this video? We've managed to set the value of the cell, but we also want to do some position control. Because remember, we want to get to the situation where we can create that list of numbers. What does that entail? Well, it means we have to move from one cell to the next, move down a cell. So the VBA addicts out there, the fans of the channel, thank you so much for watching, by the way. You'll be thinking we need the offset method. That's what we used in VBA, the offset method. And the good news is, in Office Scripts, we do have a similar thing available. So we've got target cell here. Um, I'm going to say let destination cell. So we're going to declare another variable, and this is going to represent the cell that we're going to offset to our destination. That's why I've said des cell here. Now I'm just going to give it, using target sheet again, I'm just going to give it a kind of initial value, not absolutely necessary, but it's like an, an initialization, you could say. Let's declare the variable and put a value into the variable straight away. So we want to offset from our target cell. I'm going to go ahead and restore C4 as the value of the target cell here. We don't want to set the value of the target cell. We want to use offset to move away from the target cell by a number of rows and a number of columns. So I'm going to change this. So we're going to say um, target cell here. And then we're going to let the magic happen with offset. And what's the syntax we need here? Well, you can see if you say get, you can see all of the cool methods you can access in Office Script. It is get offset range. Get offset range. And then we have the brackets. Now, what do we need here? We get a helpful explanation here. The row offset first and then the column offset. The number of rows down, a positive number moves down. So three removes three rows down. And then across and a positive number moves to the right, a negative number would move to the left here. So let's say if we start at C4, let's aim to put a value in C5. How would we do that? Well, what C5 in relation to C4 is one row down, one column across, just getting mildly annoyed here by these explanations that Office Script is trying to give me. Please go away. Please, please, thank you. And let's go one zero here. So what would we expect to happen now? Well, we should be getting the destination cell, but we need to do something to that destination cell, don't we, to kind of prove what's going on. So how to do that? Well, we know how to set the value of the cell. So we can say dest underscore cell here. Then we're going to say set value, of course. Then what do we want to put in the cell? Well, you can choose again. And I'm going to say, here's the destination. And you can put in whatever you want there. So what's going to happen here? So we're starting at C4, our target cell, and then we're offsetting, moving away by one row, zero columns. I'm expecting us to get to C5. I can use the button, of course. I can use the button to run the script, running the script with the button. And the button testing script succeeded, but nothing seems to have happened. So what's happened here? Do I need to save the script? The script is saved. I'm going to um, check the logs here. Is there a problem? There aren't any problems. So let's run it again. And the script is running and here's the destination. So I think what happened there, because I hadn't saved the script, the button didn't run the most recent version of the script, but I can see what we expected to happen did happen. So cell C5 here, we've got a value in. What if we do this? What if we say 3, 3? Here's a challenge. So stop the video, put in the comments, stop the video and put in the comments, where is this going to appear? Well, we're starting at C4 here, and then we're going to count down, starting at C4, count down one, two, three rows, takes us to C7, count across one, two, three columns. I think we're going to end up in F7. Let's see what happens. And I can see our text there. So this is Office Script, guys. This is working with the spreadsheet, working with cells, getting a cell to work with, setting the value of, of the cell, and then our old friend, the offset method in VBA, in Office Script 2, allowing us to do those cool things with position control. Don't forget to play now. Don't stop here. I can't go on in this video playing, but you go ahead, do some play. Let's get excited about Office Script, guys. I'll see you in the next video.